So we're at the machine right now. Um, getting ready to get this cut happening. So you can see it all looking good in uh, the visualizer here. On uh, uh, This is Universal G-Code Sender. You can see it seems to be, so it's gonna be cutting from the middle. Now I hope I got that set up right, otherwise we're gonna have a problem. Because uh, what I've done is I've just uh, zeroed out the machine in the uh, center over here. Now I'm just going to make sure that is uh, machine can drive you open the connection here. Open. I'm resetting zero. Make sure it's zero point is where we are. And uh, where do we go, Katie? So I'm going to turn this on first. Speed up. I find about that one o'clock position. Is quite good. Yeah, I've still got my makeshift um, uh, temporary soundproofing on. I've got to get fixed that uh, very soon when I get some free time. And uh, so let's get a file mode here. And center origin, center top. <laughs> now I'm still cutting with a uh, fairly cheap pine board. Um, this pine, I've been cutting at about 900. Uh, that seems to be a reasonable speed here. Uh, today I'm using my uh, three millimeter flat end mill. I'm not having to do any kind of contours or anything complex here. Uh, I'm trying to keep it simple. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the vacuum cleaner and uh, well, I'm gonna put you in there and you can get a bit of a look. Well, put you close anyway. Okay, let's get you lined up. Outside of the uh, spade first. Don't know why I didn't do the outside and the rest of it. Um, I guess that's just one of the things with Kirimoto. Also, it didn't do the W and I first, it did the rest of the word. Uh, anyway, I could keep pointing this to the machine, or you guys can just kind of. You know what? I'm just gonna skip it and show you what the final product looks like. See you in a bit. Alright, guys, and we're done. Here we go. Uh, I skipped a step uh, from showing you, basically when it came out of the machine, I sanded it a bit, get rid of some of the burrs, because of my upcut bit, it kind of leaves a bit of a, a bit of a fluffy edge, and I varnished it as well. I got some spray varnish, and it came out pretty good. Now, there are some blemishes, the back's just the back. Some, some, uh, some of the problems that came up is you'll see near the number one at the top, the dice at the top. Got a couple of grooves that are cut into it from the, the milling machine. What actually happened was, as it was uh, doing its final cutting, the uh, the wood bent. I don't know if you can see there, the wood bent just a little bit. And I didn't have enough clearance on the, on the bit when it comes up to account for the wood actually bending because I didn't expect the wood to bend. Turns out, cheap ply bends. Uh, also, there's little bits you can see at the bottom of the ace, um, that there's like some bits that chipped off. Um, it's not super, super clean, and at some point as well along the process, uh, my machine seemed to uh, skip in the Y direction, so I started getting little lips starting to appear. Not exactly sure when that happened, I was watching it the whole time, um, but it seemed to skip just a, just a whisker, like we can see back here at the bottom. 
the little lip around the edge. Um, but another part's overhanging where there it's a lip. So not really sure what the deal is with that. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that in the future, make sure everything's tightened up. Uh, one of the problems I did have, actually, uh, was that the first time I ran it, I hadn't checked that everything was tight before I ran the machine. So at one point, the, uh, the, the spindle actually started dropping just a bit and started coming loose and basically digging deep down. I, had to, I luckily stopped everything before I, I broke anything. But, um, but yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind. Always make sure everything's tight before you run the machine. Uh, I'm going to have to 3D print a new uh, spindle holder too. Uh, that looks like it might be getting a bit fatigued and that might be also from the heat that it generates. Uh, I don't think I printed that at, at full 100% uh, density. I think the next one I will do at 100%, just make it a bit stronger, a bit more of a, a heat sink so it doesn't melt or, or warp out of shape. Anyway guys, this is my poker trophy to hand out with my buddies. I'm pretty happy, it's not, it's not the best. It's, uh, but this is straight from Kirimoto. Uh, there's no finishing pass, just kind of straight in. Uh, the next one I'll try to do it, uh, try to do a bit more with uh, Fusion, because Fusion has a bit more control with the finishing passes. But overall, I'm really happy. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you later. Bye.